a number of the Christmas festivities. They blame President Trump for his decision to declare that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. They say that that has taken the joy out of all of their celebrations, and it has annoyed the Palestinians. So joining us now, Pastor Robert Jeffress has met with the president a couple of times this week, spent a fair amount of time with he and the First Lady, and he's a Fox News contributor. Pastor, good to have you with us tonight. Um, Thanks. First of all, uh, explain to us the irritation about the decision, which is, you know, obvious, obviously, on the face of it, but this decision to remove the Christmas uh, celebrations from Nazareth um, is quite striking, really, when you think about it. Well, really, Martha, this is a pretty good year for the Palestinians to skip celebrating Christmas because the historical account of the birth of Christ actually proves that the Palestinians are absolutely wrong and President Trump is absolutely right about Jerusalem. And here's why. In Luke's Gospel, it notes that Jesus was a descendant of King David. We know from history that David's the one who named Jerusalem as Israel's capital in 1000 B.C. That's a full 1,100 years before the term Palestinian was invented by the Roman Emperor Hadrian. And you know, Tuesday night at the White House Christmas party, President Trump asked me to say a few words before I closed in prayer. And I thanked President Trump for having the guts to do what no other U.S. president has been willing to do. In recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, President Trump is not only on the right side of history, He's on the right side of God. Well, obviously, there's some backlash uh, in Nazareth, which I guess, as you say, is uh, to be expected. They don't like the origin right. of the uh, of the Christmas story and the Christmas um, tradition. So l- let me just take a look at uh, a Pew poll that we also found um, interesting. And I think that people who um, believe that Christmas is a Christian holiday will find it a little bit disheartening. Uh, those who believe it's a religious holiday, that has declined by 5%. Um, those who think it's a cultural holiday is now up to 33%. I guess, you know, we have our own materialism to thank for that. Well, I think so. And look, the tendency of any culture is to become more secular. And as that happens, unbelievers feel empowered to come out of the closet and share what they really believe or what they don't believe. But Martha, opinion polls don't change historical fact. Uh, The fact is that we divide human history, we divide our calendars by the birth of Christ. Every time we type or write the year 2017, we are affirming it's been 2017 years since the birth of the Son of God. Quickly, I mean, you know, what would you, what's your message uh, this Christmas to Christians who really want to do keep Christ in Christmas and to the rest of the country? Well, I would remind people that no matter what happens in the world, as the world gets darker and darker, the light of the gospel of Jesus shines that much more brightly. And we have so much to celebrate, and that's what we can concentrate on this year. Pastor, thank you very much. Good to see you as always. Quick break. We'll 